Hello everyone. In today's video I'll show you how to departure from airports with no seats. I'm gonna be flying the, the Airbus 320 from JAR Design and we're gonna take off from runway 28C from Chicago here KORD. Let's use uh, flight aware to get a flight plan. The origin KORD uh, destination, let's say LaGuardia. Let's click search. Uh, let's pick one. Here it goes. The Airbus 320 United 509. Okay. So here we have the flight data and that's our route. Now the last one will be the star. So we do have the star, but we don't have the seed. So uh, let me bring the charts for uh, Chicago Hair and LaGuardia. Will be LGA search. Okay, let's go back to Chicago Hair. If I go all the way down, departure, as you can see, it's only one chart the second one is for low altitude so we'll click on one let's zoom in and this is how chicago o'hare departure chart looks like okay let me go back so our star will be mip4 let's go a little bit up here and select Milton for arrival. Okay, we're gonna let me zoom the charts a little bit. So this is where we're coming. That's Milton for MIP, and then our transition will be ETG from Kitting. Uh, but that's how the charts are. Okay, let's go back to Flight Aware and click on the code and now you see the route in more details so this is what we're gonna do we're gonna enter all the waypoints from the top all the way down to wetso including wetso we're gonna leave mip out because that's the star so let's go in the cockpit and set the fmc First, we're gonna go to initial page, enter our departure, airport, and arrival. Now align the IRS. Flight number was UAL 509. Last index, let's say 69. Flight level 350. Oops. So 350. Let's see how much fuel we have. That's plenty enough. I'm not gonna do the full flight. Alright, so let's go to flight plan and start entering the route. Once we have all the waypoints enter, we can just uh, click insert. Uh, let me select the destination. Well, here I'm just going to select the random runway. Then we're going to select MIP4 star, no via. And then transition ETG. We are coming from ETG. So, all right. And then uh, we're done. Let's click insert. All right. Oops. Double click on that. Now let's check for discontinuity messages. 
Right. Uh, we have one here. We can go ahead and clear that. And also we have that one, but uh, that's not gonna clear. Also, let's select our departure runway. There, clear that. Clear message. Okay, departure runway 28C. And then we don't have seeds and no transitions. Insert. Before clicking on insert, even if I want to clear the discontinuity message, it's not going to work. So just leave it the way it is. Don't worry about it. Let's uh, let me set the performance page really quick. All right. Uh, let's see the altimeter 2997. Let's set that one. Already set. Okay, initial altitude. Let's set that to 5,000. All right. Uh, let's set the brakes, flaps, spoilers. Transponder. All right, we are good to go. All right, so let's say we have the clearance to take off a little bit windy here try my best to keep it straight Positive climb, gear up. Lights off, runway lights off. Speed check. So once uh, you clear the runway, you can go to direct page and select mobile. If you don't have it, don't worry, just enter it manually, click insert, and then automatic pilot one. As you can see, the aircraft is turning to go to mobile which was our first waypoint and there you go our first waypoint mobile So from this point, the aircraft will follow the flight plan. So now you will set your uh, altitude based on the charts uh, all the way up to, in this case, uh, flight level 3350. Three, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go back to the runway and emulate a different way to take off so let's say you play online and the ATC will give you instructions on which way to go to get to your first waypoint which in this case it's mobile so let's go ahead and take off again.
positive climb. Gear up. All right, so let's say the ATC told you to take off flying runway heading, which will be in this case 280. Once you clear the runway, you can pull the heading knob and set it to 280 or whatever uh, heading mode the ATC gave you. Now if you wish you can uh, turn on the automatic pilot or you can fly manually it's up to you. So at this point you just have to wait for the ATC instructions to tell you which way to go. So let's say I got instructions to fly heading 200 left so what I'm gonna do is move the knob towards left slowly to make sure the aircraft does turn left and then set uh, the flight heading to 200. So once again you just gotta follow the ATC instructions here. So the next thing, let's say the ATC told me to fly heading 140. Okay, let's set the heading knob to 140. And let's say when you get to your uh, initial altitude, the ATC might tell you to, let's say, go to 8000. Then you will set the altitude knob to 8000 and then you will pull the knob so you can start climbing. Alright, so as you can see, we, st we see mobile, that's our first waypoint, so the ATC might tell you to go direct mobile or follow flight plan. So in both cases, we will go and select mobile and once again, if you don't have it, enter manually, fly insert flight plan let's click on that and now so now the only thing we have to do is to push the heading knob so those dots uh, come up and now as you can see the aircraft is turning towards mobile and follow the flight plan now two more things if the ATC told you to go direct mobile but didn't give you an altitude then you stay at the same altitude if it tells you to follow your flight plan then you set the knob the altitude knob to your uh, altitude maximum altitude and then push the button so in this case the aircraft will follow the flight plan that's it for this video until next time happy flying